Hi everyone. So in this video we're going to finally dual boot Ubuntu with Windows 10. So if you've been following along with my videos, you'll know you must know by now how to prepare your USB. Once that's done, you insert it into your port. You're going to power up the PC and you're going to start pressing the F12 key to bring up the boot menu. Once that is up, you're going to select our USB from here. And here we go. So there are four options for Ubuntu. Uh, one of them is a very useful option that you can try Ubuntu without actually installing it. So that is the first option. So if you just want to um, see what a distro has to offer, you can use that option. But we are actually going to be dual booting, so we are going to select the second option which is install Ubuntu. Man, a first boot usually takes some time because it, because it's prepping the installer and everything. And uh, this is the LTS version of Ubuntu that I have, not the latest version, uh, just because this is the most stable version that they have right now. So um, over here, we're just going to select the language. I'm going to go with English. I will not be connecting to a Wi-Fi network. And uh, this is important. Basically, if you click this option right now, it will install, download and install all of the necessary codecs to uh, play MP3 as well as your graphics drivers. So, but I don't really need this because this can be installed after the OS installation. So let's just leave it at that. Now this menu is very important. You do not want to do this. Okay. Um, so when you are going to be dual booting, you always select something else and then continue from there. Now this menu is very, very important. If you've been following along with my video, in the step two, we actually prepared the laptop for installation by changing the SATA mode from Radon to AHCI. Since I am in HCI mode right now, that is why I can see all of these drives listed. If you are still in radon mode, you will see nothing here. It will be completely blank. So uh, make sure you have turned on uh, ASCI mode for your SATA drive. Um, so here, what you need to do is make two, uh, just a single ext4 um partition so as you can see i have different partitions available one of which is my afi or the uh, built-in drive another one is my windows installation as well as my data partitions right so um what you need to do is click on the plus if you have space or you want to um, basically uh, make a fresh start you pl click plus and make a new um, partition. You can look that up on Google, but as you can see, I already have DPIN installed on one of those partitions, the ext4 partition. So um, I'm not going to do that, but you can always check that up yourself. But the main thing you need to be aware of is this: uh, the device for bootloader installation has to be your STD block, which is basically NVMe on one. All of the other ones which have P and, and numeric afterwards, P1, P3, P4, those are partitions. You do not select, uh, install your bootloader on a partition. You select it on the entire drive, the 256 GB NVMe drive. So once you have that and you select your partition, you can just click install now and uh, make sure you select your drive here, the ext4 partition, not any of the other partitions, right? Uh, once it's installed, it will uh, tell you to reboot. And once you reboot, you will be presented with um, basically an option to select your OS, uh, either Ubuntu or Windows 10. 
at that point uh, I highly encourage you to check that both of those are working right so this is the live environment where you can uh, see, uh, basically test drive the Linux distro but we are going to step out of here we start now this process is the same for any Linux distro uh, either Deepin or Ubuntu um, I currently have Deepin installed so um, let me just show you the OS selection page right this is the selection page for Deepin uh, for Ubuntu it's just going to be a black screen with these options and the default one gets selected after five seconds of inactivity so it's, it's a very simple process to do good um, there's nothing really to it so if you like this video hit the thumbs up button subscribe to my channel uh, basically I prefer Deepin because it's much more um, beautiful compared to Ubuntu and uh, a lot more user friendly as well although it's uh, not a really a well-known distribution it is pretty good and you can check my review of it up here and um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. See you next time.